on two. One moment. I nearly missed that. Oh, I did I miss? Okay, I didn't miss it. Okay. Uh, Chigose, I almost, I almost uh, missed this. Uh, your super, uh, your super sticker. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I also want to read uh, your super chat. Okay. Uh, reason with logic, not emotions. One Nigeria is emotional reasoning devoid of logic. Absolutely. So thank you very much uh, for that. It was just a simple warm comment more. I would have missed that uh, super chat. Uh, my brother there. Thank you. Okay. One moment. <laughs> well. So somebody who have that chance and because somebody who can steal more, as I was saying, want to talk down on me and say, I have no opinion. I should shut up. Of course, I'm not going to shut up. Okay? And at this point, yeah, they might be getting away with it in Nigeria, which is fine. All right? Fine. But we shouldn't let them get away with it outside Nigeria. Okay? And you, living outside Nigeria, when you look at all of these things, right, the consequences of all of these actions, which are not directly going to affect you, right? But when you remember that as much as they are not going to really affect you, but there's one thing. What if somebody calls you now? After you have figured out your plan, your budget, your money, how it's going to be, then the leftover in your bank, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, they are just there as, uh, you know, as uh, your own, uh, we call it a uh, saving for the raining day. Call from Nigeria. That is the only worry. Every time after I get paid, after clearing Nigeria, because you know what I'm talking about, eh? All of you know, those of you who are responsible, who are still doing enough and you have the capacity to reach back to people back home, those who rely or depend on you. After you have cleared them, oh, everybody will make you feel like, ah, oh, you are a rich guy. Oh, thank you so much. All prayers, eh? You don't collect them. Second week into the new month, you're already working again, working again, waiting for another pay, waiting for another pay that you're going to clear. Abby, the only call, I don't know about everybody, but I'm talking about myself, and I know I'm not alone. The only call you have to worry about is, what if they call you from Nigeria? Grandma don't swallow, uh, grandma don't swallow single machine, or uh, grandpa don't swallow generator, or uh, junior don't uh, uh, fall over uh, the fence. So, and now they, they said, doctor said we should, say, we should pay 300,000, we should pay around 50,000. Now, the one that is actually so scary is, what if they call us that Fulani has men? They have taken your family member. And you know, say in Nigeria, you are living abroad. Something we do for them in Nigeria that some people don't really know. Or let me say, not everybody knows. But the people who get to take them from you, they know what that means. Do you get what I mean now? Right? They believe that if the problem comes to money, if the problem comes, there is always this member of the family that the whole family believe that if it comes to money and we have tried everything, if we call this guy, if we call my auntie, if we call my sister in America, they don't know what you're going to do to get the money. Home. They don't know. Nobody has to care. Whether you have to quickly go and do some uh, quick uh, uh, loan. Oh, can I quickly take a thousand pounds loan? Some of you have good credits, good credits in your different countries, yeah? They don't know how you're going to do it, but they know that if they call you, emergency, 100,000, 200, 300, 500, 1 million. They know some of you in that kind of different families all over the world. My own family know that uh, if the emergency is beyond 50,000, eh, you have to wait for the end of the month. I'm not a rich guy. Do you get that now? And I'm not alone. See, everything I tell you, you know why people say I talk like them? People will tell me like, Mayegun, why is it that everything you say, you talk like me, you, you, everything you think or you say is pretty much like everything I want to say? It's because I am like you. Everything that happens to me, this is how I understand the world. Though. Everything that I'm going through, when I'm enjoying something, I feel like I'm not alone. There are people who are enjoying the same thing somewhere else better. When something is not working, or when I figure something out, 
or I picture my own life, I feel like I am not the only person living this life. I'm not the only person who is, uh, you know, especially if you are, if you have been projected as a Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about. Being a Nigerian alone, eh, it should be studied. All right, being a Nigerian and surviving as a Nigerian should be studied. So I can, I can picture things and feel like. You put yourself, I can put myself in your shoes. You can put yourself in my shoes. Okay? My family member knows that if the, if the emergency is more than 50,000 Naira, eh, they will have to what? They will have to wait for the end of the month. If the problem is more than 500,000 Naira, to God be the glory, oh, I have never gotten to that stage yet, too. Oh, with the manage, we'll be poor people. With the manage, small, small, where will they get? All right? But I'm just trying to give you the, the whole thing. So if my, and every day I did, I'm always like, hey, God, hmm, hmm. I don't want to wake up one day. And they will say, somebody in my family has been kidnapped. We need to raise money. 10 million. 10 million. 10 million. Ah, then you don't finish. 10, 10 million. Like, I would just like family members will know that. I so this guy no even get money. We just didn't say he get money every time he send the money. Boom, it looks so plenty. The plenty money now because say your nara don't crash. But if you put out for 10 million, you go know say some of us go, go struggle. Now, imagine if you have to wake up and receive that news. That is also some but apart from that, apart from that, yeah, we are also doing well. Compared to Nigeria. So when they pay me my salary, eh? I convert it to Naira. How much is 2,000 pounds? 2,000 pounds. 1.2 million Naira. That's a lot of money. How much is 2,000? Uh, how much is uh, 3,000 pounds? 3,000 pounds. That should be 1.8 uh, million. That's a lot of money. Baba, you cannot convince me otherwise. There will not be money. Was it be money? Eh? It get levels. The problem, they say, no, they finish. And as the politicians continue to destroy that country, the problem, they escalate. Yeah? Now, the problem will escalate. As the problem, they escalate. Eh? The worst is that if Nigeria should just say, if anything should happen that will make me have to go about and say, please, please, I beg you in the name of God, I beg you in the name of God, though they have kidnapped my family member. <laughs> At 30 million, they are asking for even some of you that are always giving in this uh, super chat. You will realize that even if you feel my if you feel my uh, my chat begging you to help me, if you feel the super chat with hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds, eh, and drop no other comment. No, don't tell me sorry. Don't tell me God will bring them. Don't say anything. Just keep donating under. You will realize that we will get thousands of comments. To make up 10, I mean 30 million naira to build my family. She that one. No go come make me feel like say, oh boy, if Nigeria won't break now, make Nigeria break. No be me then kidnap. Oh. That's why I said, don't try to convince anyone. When you see a Biafran that is telling you that Nigeria will burn, Nigeria will die, Nigeria is dead, and all of that, and you are feeling angry, auntie. Are you normal? They are killing them. You are seeing the video. But in your own mind, now them cuss them. Now them fuck up. Why are they protesting? What do they want to take Biafra do? What is all this thing? Uh, they just want to break Nigeria. There is, and you are watching them. They are killing them. Then you now see a Biafra saying, Nigeria will burn if they don't let us go. Nigeria, we just, you know, they, you say, why do you hate Nigeria this much? Auntie, are you normal? Egbon, are you okay? So because they have not started killing your own people, because you are not Igbo, or you are not Biafran, now them cousin. And you, my brother, as a Biafran, I know say, I know say, everybody they para. They say, yeah, in Yoruba, they say, if you they cry, when I go, they try to see you, Eh? We know, say, there are people who are actually pretty much, we know that there are people who are, who rejoice in other people's agony. 
But what they don't know is that in Nigeria, they have democratized injustice. If they come in different bashes, in different brands, in different names, by different sizes, and different uh, time, you go get your own turn. Now, turn by turn, Nigeria Limited. So, if you are a Biafran and you see a Yoruba man mocking you, don't think all Yorubas are mocking you. Come on. You know why you shouldn't think that? That Yoruba man mocking you is doing it out of ignorance, complete stark ignorance, okay? Some of them choose to be ignorant, okay? But nevertheless, don't worry. Don't worry. They say they should kill you, right? They don't have the control of when they will kill you or who should kill you. Because you know what? The people they are wishing to continue to kill you, they will kill them too. So are you telling me that you are going to them? Some of you are also rejoicing when they said Yorubas are now refugees in Benin Republic. You see, I'm a Yoruba man. I have been talking about uh, Kanuri, the Nupes, the Fulanis, the Awusas, who have been uh, refugees in Benere, I mean, uh, Ninja Republic, in Chad, in Mali. If you have to travel by road from these places where people have turned to refugees to where I come from, eh, you probably will spend more than uh, 14 hours on the road, right? That means it will take 14 hours for those who want to come and kill us, send us to refugee camp, it will take them 14 hours to drive down. So I was already screaming before they came to my land because I knew it, that it is going to be turn by turn, Nigeria Limited. Now that uh, the turn is uh, terrorism, it no matter where you day, it go reach your turn. So finally it reached our turn. I couldn't prevent it. I couldn't stop it, but I was talking about it. Now we have people who are saying, now that this is happening, eh, we must all realize something that even if we no agree on anything, we have something in common in Nigeria that is put together to kill you, to kill me, either physically or otherwise. Nigeria can kill you psychologically. Many people are already dead. They are walking dead. Nigeria is not giving them any hope anymore. Before, the, before now, some people are making up hope in their own head. Oh, Nigeria, maybe in 2010, Vision 2010. Oh, maybe in the new millennium, Vision 20, Vision 2000. They say Vision 2000, no clear. Vision 2000, no clear. They don't see, they don't see where. They say, oh yeah, extend down. Vision 2010. They say, what's it be Vision 2010? Vision 2010, Nigeria will be among the top 10 economy in the world. Okay. When they go to 2009, they say, oh, boy, this is not clear again. Oh, we will do, we will do Vision 2020. Another 10 years. They say, okay. Oh, yeah, Vision 2020. Vision 20. I said, this one clear. Millennium Development Goal. In fact, this one is very clear. With this one, oh, we uh, say Vision 2020. When they go to 2019, by that time, Bokwari don't take over. When they go to 2019, they say, oh, boy, if I say this is not clear again. If I, it can't become so blur. We will not use 10, 10 years anymore. We will make them um, uh, 15, 20. Yeah. If you ask me, like uh, Tunde Bakari said, Tunde Bakari said, God told him that Buhari was coming to come and stabilize Nigeria. Now, vision. If you go to their churches, eh, they are seeing visions. Do you get that now? They say, yeah, 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 we will do... Uh, we'll, uh, say, we'll do 2030. No, 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 do 2030. 2030, no clear. 2030, no clear. By the time Bokwari finish, eh? More we'll do 2035. 20, uh, eh? 2035. Nobody could believe our vision anyway, but just say 2035. Nigeria will have electricity. Nigerian children will have the best education. N Nigerians will have best road. Nigerians will have a good uh, everything, everything, by the grace of God, because they have to use God, because you know, say the way they programmed everybody there is that if you don't add God, you are that is why you are failing. 
It's because we are not asking, we are not including, we are not involving God. How can you see vision without God? Even pastor, when they see vision, they don't see clearly. Oh, now jumping. Oh, now scam. If you so people, many people are already walking dead. They don't get up. Say, Baba, wait, Baba. How come now? Why is every you see? I was in Nigeria in 2018. Okay, in 2018 for my mom's burial. It was December. The period that everybody should be happy, you know, Christmas coming, everything, you know, all of that. Uh, we'll be sharing gifts. Everybody will be meeting family and all of that. Nigeria, eh? Happy people. They, they said Nigeria, Nigerian people are happy people. And I got to Nigeria. You know, one thing is this. If you don't leave Nigeria, I'm not talking about leaving Nigeria for holiday. Oh. This one you go, you know what I mean? This one that uh, you go for uh, two weeks holiday to London, take pictures, do all of that, and do everything. Obey traffic lights. When you see traffic lights, you obey traffic lights. When you see where they say one way, you pass one way. Where they say everybody stay on the queue, you stay on the queue. Where they say uh, don't litter the road, you don't litter the road. Two weeks so. But when you get back to Nigeria, you, you go back to the, to the, you reformat yourself back to the uh, old, uh, the mode, old mode. Yeah, that's, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about if you leave Nigeria and by any means live in, I mean, live outside Nigeria for a whole year and go back to Nigeria. You will, I don't know if you have, if you have noticed this, eh? If you pay attention, you realize that now everybody, they frown in Nigeria. Like, Every, if you look at people's faces, it, when they are not talking, when they are not talking or gisting or laughing, when they are just sitting down there and listening to you, or they are, you see them in the bus, or, or you are walking with them on the street, when you look at their faces, I don't know, including your friends, though, my friends and everybody, their faces are, are solid, hard. And you'll be wondering, about smile now, so, uh, uh, bros, are you okay? Is everything okay? They will say, yeah, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. Then they will try to put up this uh, little smile. But immediately, they will go back again. And the old face will just be like, and you're like, wait, see, why is everybody so serious? Why is everybody so angry? Do you get that now? Why are they angry? It's because there is no hope, no real hope. In Nigeria, if you are just suddenly just happy, just happy, laughing, they say, what did they make? What did they make you happy? Have you noticed that too? If you walk into a house, I mean, if you walk, it, walk into the room and you start laughing like, hey, hey, <laughs> oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Immediately, people will just be like, so, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. What, what is it? What, what is funny? Uh huh? Why, why, why? Like, they want to know, why are you, why, what is making you happy? Instead of saying, eh, hey, uh, what happened? You know, like smiling and face and hey, tell me, tell me, tell me, what's the news? What's the, they will be like, uh -huh. say, ah, I just I just received a call. I just received a call from my from my boyfriend. Uh, oh, I don't know how to do that uh, easy now. You know that kind. So is it because you because they will say, Baba, no joy. They say, Baba, I don't get joy. People will be telling you, they will say. He said, Baba, why everybody know they smile? They say, what did they want to smile about? Smile about what? What's in day? What's in day funny? You see, the people, they say, do I look funny? <laughs> you know, people will be asking you, like, do I look funny to you? Why, why, what is funny? And like, when they say something, and you're like, <laughs> say, why do I look funny to you? All of a sudden, they will become angry. What, what, what is funny? I say, Baba, sorry now. Sorry, sir. You know, that's another one. Because you are like, they get angry easily because Nigeria no give them any joy. And when you look at them, Nigeria is a country where people want to believe that it go better, it go better, it go better. They don't, they don't get the dates. Nobody, they ask for the dates. It go better. See, Baba, it go better. When you meet the educated ones, they will say, my brother, it is well. Say, but Baba, you know where now? We, me and you just talk about 30 minutes now. We're talking about why everything no well. How come you they tell me, say, my brother, it is well. 
it is well in Jesus name all these things are called coping mechanism okay coping mechanism because Nigeria is not giving them any hope okay but when you see people who are trying to talk politically to want to be politically correct let us pray for our leaders let us uh, wish them well if they succeed we succeed Naskamu. And I'm glad that many, many people, many, many people know that it's a scam. When they tell you that, let us pray. If you are looking for people who pray the most in the whole world, Nigeria are number one. Nigeria pray to God to the point that when you look at the country with the highest number of people visiting uh, holy lands on pilgrimage to go and talk to God, Nigerian, they love God so they, they have more churches than factories. Do you get that now? They have more bigger, bigger churches, bigger, bigger mosques, national mosques, uh, this mosque. They will be telling you, this mosque we are building in Oju Elegba. It is the biggest mosque in the whole of West Africa. This is the same mosque they have in uh, Medina, where Muhammad. Where uh, Anobi Muhammad Salalah Walei was salam, where he chopped Fura the Nunu when he was coming back from the mountain. So you see, this mosque is a symbol of our, our Prophet Alaji Muhammad, Alaji uh, Prophet Muhammad. They turn it into something that, but yet, when it is time to go and, well, they are not satisfied though. They are not satisfied. They will still say, I still need to go to that Mecca. I need to go and see Muhammad. I need to go and see Kaba, Ile Ulua. Because if what they say, anything, anything you say in that place, any prayer you say in that place, it will come to pass. Some will say, we need to build the biggest auditor. You see, you see that biggest auditor, my, 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 my God, my God is an abundance God. And that's abundance God, God of abundance of wealth. He said, I will build my house on the rock. Where no falsehood will be able to destroy. They are talking about big auditorium with uh, 10,000 people to come in and drop offerings. So that's how close we are to God. Though. So don't, don't say it is where in the name of God. It is a scam. Because that God you are talking about, nobody knows that God more than Nigerians who are in Nigeria. We know God so 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 much that we are number one people in the whole world who visit God, God houses all over in Israel. We go to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Eh? You go to Jerusalem to go and see where Jesus Christ left the tomb because you know that when you go to that where uh, uh, Jesus Christ left the tomb where he died and he rise today is actually Jesus. Uh, Day that Jesus rise, oh. So happy Easter, by the way. So Nigerians believe that so much, and there's nothing wrong in that, okay? The only thing that is wrong is that they have made you to link that expectation of that God to what your politicians should do. That's what I'm trying to say. There's nothing wrong in you believing in your different religion, be faithful to your religion. I mean, like, it's a good thing, okay, to relate with God. But I'm only trying to tell you that when they now said the politicians who can't build hospitals would refuse to build schools, refuse to pay doctors, refuse to pay, I mean, to build roads, refuse to fund the security agent. Now that uh, there, there is uh, insecurity in the country, the same politicians, eh, they are putting money into sending people to Mecca, sending people to Jerusalem. To go and help them talk to God. They are now sponsoring the likes of uh, Tunde Bakaru. Sponsoring the likes of uh, Baba Gio. Because it's a business enterprise. Everybody is working hand in hand. You rob my back, I rob your back. If you want to collect, to, if you want to continue to rip uh, from the, I mean, rip the shippies, then you have to continue to tell them that they have to obey us. And they must believe in God. We must all believe in God. Because God can do anything. There's nothing that God cannot do. Don't ever ask a question. Just believe, because God can do anything and everything. Naskam, oh, Naskam. Because if they tell you it's about God, eh? No, if God, 
if God truly is listening to Nigerians, so if there is that God that is listening to your prayer, so God should not be listening to any other country. God should be listening to Nigerians only with the level of we are exporting religion. Are you joking? Eh? To let you know how close we are to God, we are exporting religion. Go everywhere. The people don't leave us alone. No. They said they are preaching salvation to us. So salvation, which is to say you have to be honest, you have to be truthful, you have to be sincere, you have to believe and trust in God, and you have to do everything which is good. That is what uh, the law says here. Yeah. The law says you have to do everything legitimately. If you run far of the law, now here then go punish you. No be here, no be there after. Or life after. These people chase us down abroad. And so many people can tell you their stories. Oh, how they have also uh you know, how they have fallen victim, victim of these uh, fraudulent criminals who are using God to tell you that uh, you know. Don't do anything about your politicians. They're not all of them, oh, by the way, because we should not generalize. Um, uh, Biggie, uh, should I pronounce that? Big uh, Donut. Okay, yeah. Big Donut Entertainment from Canada. Thanks for your own uh, super sticker there. Uh, I, you know, I got that. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, I think I got another one from uh, <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> nobody. So, uh, my dear brother, nobody, honorable brother or sister, nobody, uh, I'll read your super chat. Mm -hmm. Buhari must go protest tomorrow. Abbey Lodge, which is uh, the postcode, which is Northwest uh, 8, NW8. For those of you in London tomorrow, I'm working tomorrow. I'm working uh, day after tomorrow. Uh, but I'm not working on Wednesday. I'm not working on Thursday. I may actually find myself in London myself this week. Maybe not just go on the plane anymore, just go on the train. But I will work something out and I will likely join you. And if I'm going to join you, I'll tell you. I'm off for two days. I mean, not being, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, off work for two days means even if I, if I, <laughs> if I uh, run late to get my train or play, I mean, or flight, I can always catch up and I can always sleep in London and come back to Glasgow the following day. So, sure, the protests continue every day until Bokwari. Is back to Nigeria. Do you get that now? Auntie Bokuari is back to Nigeria. So, tomorrow, they are back in London as we speak. <clears throat> so, it is all on us now to continue to push. Let us all agree that since they can't help and they can't continue to use religion to hold us, Especially all of us who have seen beyond all these religious uh, gimmicks and tactics and lies, right? We should not keep quiet. We should not give room to uh, any, you not give room uh, for any kind of uh, division. Some of them are things we are creating ourselves. The people back home are living through a phase that until they meet their own moment. When I say get to that, their own moment. The moment they are going to also find out that you are right to ask for Biafra. The moment they are also going to find out that it is a good thing to ask for Oduduwa Republic. It is a good thing to break up Nigeria to save lives. Until they arrive at that moment, right? And we continue to remind them, we are doing a great job, honestly speaking, all of us. All of us doing this. Trying to remind the people why Nigeria is not working. What should be done and uh, undone and all of that. We are doing a great work. In Nigeria today and uh, also all over the world, the whole world knows that uh, Nigeria is uh, getting to a stage that Nigeria may break up. That is uh, all thanks to all of us who never keep quiet. Our Biafran uh, brothers, uh, the IPOB members, uh, and uh, you know uh, the Oduduan uh, champion campaigners, everyone, the revolution now, uh, promoters and campaigners, uh, you know, the Buhari, everyone who is standing up for, for everything about Nigeria, the effort is making everybody know that something needs there to be done. Something must be done. So, but all the number that is needed to get things done, you may not get that number now. Some of them, in fact, you know one thing, let me, let me break your heart a bit. We might be doing so well now and we have to continue. But you see, this year, the likes of Tifnumbu and Co, they are spending a lot of money. 
they are spending lots and lots of money, especially in Yoruba land, to make sure that uh, they keep the momentum, they keep the control, so that when they call out for people to come out and campaign, they will still see the large number of people turning out, okay, to tell us that whatever we are doing is just, just attention-seeking. It's nothing. You are still going to see them call out and spend a lot of money to organize an election uh, campaign in the eastern part of Nigeria, in Biafra land. They are doing all of that to tell you that, oh, shut up, you are just making noise. Nigeria is not going to break up. They will spend a lot to prove that. But one thing you, I want you to be very sure of is this. It is becoming so much difficult every day for them, like to keep the people and continue to control them. Every day, it is becoming difficult and difficult. And you know why? Because they need the media to keep the control. They need the church. They need the mosque. They need the traditional institutions. They need so many, you know, so many organizations like Yaloja, the uh, transport, so they have money they put into them to make sure they continue to rally that their base. That base is the people they have, uh, you know, deprived of good life, deprived of even life, the right to life, right? So we, the media, they always used to control that. We have taken over that already. Are you with me? All of us telling the Nigerians that the Nigeria won't work if they continue to back these criminals, it is more or less that they are signing their own what? They are signing their own death warrants. It may look like it's not working. It may look like they, want, they still want to conduct election. It may look like they are going about like nothing is going on. It may look like uh, they are unstoppable. But you are wrong if you believe that. Okay? You see this whole thing they are putting up, all this show they are putting up, it is costing them more than it would have cost them if we have not uh, started all our advocacy exposing them so it's becoming more expensive every day for them to maintain those appearances are you with me eh it is becoming more expensive to do it now it is going to become more expensive to get people to attend those things if we continue to to continue to hammer it tell the people it may look like it's not working you have no idea it is working we have taken over the media now, the religious, uh, the religious platform that they are using to, to preach lies, to give people false hope, to tell them that uh, God told them Nigeria will work. God told them that somebody, when somebody becomes president, Nigeria will be fixed. God told them blah, 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 blah. Now, we are using our media, the social media, to break that chain now as well. People are now separating what their pastors say to them to what they think is right they are no longer linking their what their pastors say or associating everything their pastors say to what god says anymore that's the war we are winning we are winning a war of re-education re-educating the people you see if you want to win any war eh educate the people when the people know why they are fighting it eh they will go far far than you can even imagine so the likes of Tifnumbu the likes of Aregbe Mubo, the Kenneth Shatabandu fake pastor Ruga, uh, who, are, who else? All the rest of them who are jumping up and down about 2023, they may be bragging. They may be, you know, they may be throwing their weight around. Make it look like uh, they can do anything. My brothers and sisters, you have no idea what these guys are going through, trying to maintain and con ma maintain control but if we don't give them any breathing space, if we don't give them any peace, eh, eventually they will fall, they will crack, and they will crash. You don't believe me? Eh? Give it time. Uh, my person, nobody. Honorable, distinguished nobody. You have also done it again. Another super chat. Buari must go protest. <laughs> Tomorrow, Abbey Lodge, NW8. So you know where that is. Please give it a, sh uh, a follow up, okay? Uh, that is that uh, from uh, my uh, honorable Mr. Uh, in fact, I'm going to leave it on for a for about two, three minutes before we let that go for everyone who is going on. That Mayagun didn't come to London today. 
Eh? People know that uh, Mayegun's presence is just a uh, plus one to everybody who is already making, who made up their mind to go there. There are people who are still going. Eh? The plan is that if Wari stay in London for that two weeks, they said he's going to stay. Forget it. He's never going to have peace. And if those in Nigeria who had also given him sleepless nights, Omo Yele our own vintage Omo Yele Shoure, eh? is making it a hell for him. They are figuring, they are trying to figure out what they are going to do to him. They don't know. Do you get that now? So everybody making it uncomfortable for them. Then be our person. No, they hate them. Don't they know they judge them? Don't put them on that. Don't sit on that judgment table and see who is doing it better, who is not doing it better. Don't be like those childish people who have no clue, complete uh, understanding of exactly what is going on. They enjoy the fantasy. Ah, we are going to shoot. Well, come on, calm down. People are already shooting. So you don't, don't tell us that uh, we have to go and shoot again. People, we already, they are already doing it. Uh, don't you know that uh, it's, been, it's been three days now, Nigerian Army versus uh, the ESN uh, in Enugu? Eh? Do you think that it's just like uh, they are doing a picnic dance? We know. But at the same time, don't 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 judge people. Don't sit down on that judgment table and start giving judgment like they are not doing it right. Oh, so these ones are doing it better. I prefer this person. I prefer that person. Do what you think you can. The people who are going everywhere, uh, well, I'll tell you. I'm glad you ask, uh, DT. I'm glad you asked that question. I was going to talk about it. But I'm coming to the end of the broadcast anyway, but I'm going to talk about it now. In their own way, like I said, they have the way they have structured the system. The, uh, they call themselves the elite, right? The elite, the criminals who are benefiting from the rot in Nigeria, Aousa, Fulani, Yoruba, see, all of them, they believe that this is just a phase. Another person will be president. People will still die. Nothing will happen. So, Gumi, the national coordinator for the Nigeria, I'm sorry, the Banditry Republic of Nigeria, uh, or the Bandit Republic of Nigeria, Gumi, the national coordinator for banditry, compensation, and uh, uh, amnesty for terrorists, he was in uh, Abe Okuta to go and see Obasanjo. Obasanjo opened his door for him. Somebody that they should put in jail. Obasanjo opened his door. And when they had a conversation, eh? maybe the, the media, because they are spending a lot of money, you may not know, they are spending a lot of money on media in Nigeria. All their media houses, they are sharing news and uh, stories, misleading stories that continue to mislead people, to continue to make people believe in all these jargons anyway. The media report said, when Gumi met Obasanjo, they agreed that it is a good thing for Nigerian government to give amnesty to the terrorists who, are, who have killed, kidnapped, raped women and destroyed lives. They should give them amnesty. Obasanjo, they said after Gumi met Obasanjo, Obasanjo also agreed with Gumi. Somebody said, na, na, na fulani, uh, chai, na fulani voodoo, they work. Please, save me that, okay? The system is already a voodoo system. Everybody is already uh, is everybody is already uh, sorry. Everyone is already bewitched. Now people way way normal for Niger. They know many, and those way no, normal for Niger, eh? They are even the, the the majority who have been bewitched are now calling uh, mad people. Do you get that now? So, Oba Sonjo, the same Oba Sonjo that uh, you know that leveled the uh, Odi in Bayelsa simply because some uh, Bayel, I mean, sorry, uh, Odi youths who call themselves uh, Odi agitators as well, right? They said they were they were kidnapping uh, expatriates, oil working the expatriates working in the oil field in Niger Delta. That these youths were kidnapping them and collecting ransom. And they were also engaging with the police uh, in gun battle. So Oba Sonjo decided to go there. And Oba Sonjo gave them ultimatum that they should surrender or they will be arrested. 
Oba Sanjo government to send the police to go there and arrest them. And before you know it, they said, oh, the, uh, the youth, they shot and killed seven, uh, they shot and killed their policemen and soldiers that Oba Sanjo sent. Do you know what happened after that? Eh? Oba Sanjo leveled down the entire, the entire community. Some of you have heard this story. And if you have also, if you have, uh, if you remember uh, this guy, Timaya Song, then bond, the, I mean, then bond, then bond, then mama, bond, then papa, bond, then mama, you know that song, eh? Uh, all right, remind me, I'm going to try and remember that song. That song was sung by uh, Timaya after Obasanjo leveled down OD. You know what Obasanjo did? He just brought in like more than uh, 5,000 soldiers. All armed with one command only. They should shoot anything that move in Odi. Because some youth, eh? They shot and killed policemen and soldiers. Right? In the Obasanjo time, oh, they killed over 3,200 human beings, including women and children. Those who could so, who could escape, they escaped through the through their canoe on their canoe into the creek, into the IC. Those are the people who escape. Oh, Oba Sanjo, the same Oba Sanjo, sat down with uh, Sheikh Gumi. Gumi, who is negotiating for amnesty for terrorists who have kidnapped and killed. They have killed soldiers. As we speak, eh, even just four days ago, the news said they killed more than uh, 14 soldiers. Who, the same Oba Sanjo, the Nigerian media is now telling us that Oba Sanjo called said this I mean this uh, criminal so after he met with Gumio the Nigeria should give them amnesty for those who embrace amnesty. So listen to this oh what Obasanjo is saying is that all those who died as soldiers all those who died as uh, policemen in this year alone the uh, Boko Haram in Nigeria the Fulani bandits in Nigeria. In 2021 alone, 2021, January to April now, they have killed over 400 security agents, be it a policeman, be it a NSCDC, the civil defense, be it a, any, anything force, Sha. Eh? Terrorists have killed over 400 in between January and April alone. And we still have eight, eight months to go. Now, Obasanjo met that Gumi. Gumi wants amnesty for terrorists who have repented. In Zamfara State, the, in Zamfara, the governor of Zamfara, Matawale, he publicly came out and he said, giving amnesty to bandits was the right thing to do. And he has no regret about it. They called them repentant terrorists. These were bandits, oh, the same bandits that kidnapped school children. And they are currently keeping 39 college uh, uh, school children from Kaduna, right? They are keeping them in bondage right now. Nobody is able to release them, right? So, Matawale in Zamfara gave them money, eh? Gave them vehicles. And he also gave them immunity from prosecution. No charges, no appearance in court, just amnesty. Now, in Zamfara State, just uh, two days ago, among among those people they have killed, though, they, are, they continue to kill and kidnap every day. The government of Zamfara said they have spent... <laughs> Man, Nigeria is a joke. They said they have spent, so far, 950 million naira to, to, to pay the repentant terrorists in Zamfara state. Hmm? Now they are tired. They said the killings hasn't stopped. The kidnappings does not stop. Now, two days, I mean, just yesterday, the news said the Miyete, I mean, the Fulani bandits, they killed the Miyeti Ala leader. Do you know who the Miyeti Alas are? Miyeti Ala are the influential Fulani uh, others. They call them the Katu, Katu Adas Association of Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. The Miyeti Ala. They represent the Fulani bandits. They represent the Fulani AK-47 carrying Fulani killers in every part of Nigeria. They are called 
me yet yala. They are so influential that they have threatened state governors. They have threatened the, uh, you know, the Yoruba people. They have threatened the Igbo people. They have threatened the a state governor in Benue. They have threatened everyone that is against a Fulani Asman carrying AK-47 to farm. This me yet yala. Who are now everywhere. Eh? They are now contractors. They are now security experts. They are now this and that in Nigeria, okay? Two days ago, or last, I mean yesterday, Fulani Bandi in Zamfara, the key two of them, their leaders. So when I told you that insecurity and injustice in Nigeria is democratized, now everybody go get your own share. If you never get that now, just wait for your turn. Shame Niger one Nigeria be no wahala. Now you go come back and you go change music when the Bedou enter body. Do you understand that now? So the governor of Zamfara, who few days or few weeks ago was everywhere telling us why it is a good idea to pay terrorists, to rehabilitate them, to give them money because they have repented. Eh? He is now coming out to say, if you now not come out and hand over your gun, we are just going to let the military kill you because he has no solution. You don't pay terrorists. You don't put a cobra, a baby cobra. You don't put a baby cobra under, under your agbada. And you put the baby cobra under your agbada. And once in a while, you put the baby cobra out. You can't feed them flower, roses. You can't spray them perfume. You can't do some jerry coil for the uh, for the snake because it's a baby it's a baby snake, Abby. Because you know you think you can control it. If the baby snake wants to say it won't bite you, what in one bite self? You could just choke him, you could strangulate him. That is what you are doing when you pay terrorist. A snake, you see, snake picking, na snake. As they say, dog picking, na dog. Dog will not give birth to. A sheep. Eh? Goat. Or let me say snake. Will not give birth to a goat. That you have a baby snake. That will strike you. And then sting you. And in agony you are going to die. Foaming in the mouth. Regretting. Why did I keep a baby cobra under my agbada? So don't worry. It is called democratization of injustice. Whether you support it, whether you don't support it, now everybody go get in own share. Now turn by turn, Nigeria Limited. So they were paying them. Even Bokwari, eh, secretly. Are you with me? Secretly, oh, they were releasing terrorists. They called them rehabilitated terrorists. Now, six years down the lane, down the road, eh, they have released over 6,000 repentant terrorists. Yet, school children are still being kidnapped. Soldiers are still being killed. Government uh, officials are still being targeted. Civilians are still being kidnapped. And now, it, no longer, it is no longer the Northern Nigeria problem. It has become the entire country problem. So if anybody tell you, say, make you manage, make you manage, they are only telling you to wait to die. Do you understand that now? Just give them time. There's no rush. So if you can make them uncomfortable, join those who can, because we don't know how long we have. Uh, and then uh, I hope that you'll play your own part when that time comes. I, will, I am playing my own part. And I, will, I, know, I hope uh, you'll play yours. Make them uncomfortable. It is the smallest we can do, because we can't change them. We can't elect them. We can't do anything. The people they are controlling, they have withdrawing them so much. They have weaponized poverty. They have incapacitated them so bad that they, we can't make up the number to get rid of them. But one thing is this. Don't make them comfortable. I'm begging you. Please don't. If Obasanjo says they should give them amnesty, Obasanjo is one of the failed leaders of Nigeria. He is a Yoruba man. Oh, Pastor, you see, in life, eh, they say, if you like, do good. If you like, do bad. Eh? 
anything where you do, you will always get your reward. Whether not now or later. Do you understand that now? So if you do good, I mean, if you, if you do good, people will use you as a good example. They will say, why can't you be like that, Mayegun? Eh? Look at that, Mayegun. Why don't you be like Mayegun? Oh, I would like to be like Mayegun. Look at Mayegun. Very, very lovely guy. <laughs> I'm actually a lovely guy, by the way. Like, for real. It's just that uh, I don't have respect for criminals. And I don't know how to pretend about it. Okay? I was raised well. I was raised to respect people who earn that respect. Okay? I wasn't raised to put, I mean, to, to, to lick asses, okay? I wasn't raised to be somebody, you know, somebody who, who freaks out because some people have this uh, weight or personality to throw around. I, I'm sorry. I am not, I mean, I wasn't raised that way. But I'm actually a nice guy, very respectful guy. I mean, I respect people a lot. <laughs> but I don't like res I mean, respecting criminals. I don't like uh, respecting killers. I don't res like respecting uh, thieves. It doesn't matter how rich they are. It doesn't matter how, how educated they are. It doesn't matter how old they are. I am just not kind of, you know, I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I just don't know how to do it. Do you get that now? So we don't uh, respect uh, uh, criminals in a way. Uh, and then I don't expect you to respect uh, criminals, okay? Uh, but nevertheless, you can use me as a good example. I'm a good example of what uh, a son should be or what a father should be. I'm, I'm act I actually mean that, by the way. And I know that some of you know that I mean that. I do. I'm a very good father. I'm a very good, uh, you know, a very good uh, partner, husband. And I'm a very, very good person. Very good person. But I have earned it. So you can use me as a good example. If you be bad person, it is also good. They can use you as a as an example of, of a bad thing. That is exactly what Obasan Joy is. When they tell you that a Yoruba man should be president and it will make, it will make Nigeria better and it will make Yoruba land better, they are, they are about to scam you. Obasan Joy is an old man now. He is a failed leader too. He had the opportunity of putting Nigeria... Excuse me. He has the opportunity of putting Nigeria on the right uh, track. But uh, he sold it for his own selfish uh, interest. So that he could have his Obasan job farm. He could have all the influence. He could have this international figure. He could have all of that and everything. But at the end of the day, Yoruba land is now poorer. Yorubas are poorer in Nigeria. Now, Yorubas are not safe. In Nigeria, do you get that now? Cutsy because the likes of Obasanjo, they failed to do the right thing. Now that same Obasanjo cannot advise. Now, if they now say Sifnumbu is coming to do something for you, should you believe them? I mean, generally, simply because they say oh Sifnumbu is a Yoruba man, he's going to come back and make Nigeria great. He's going to come back and protect Yoruba land. Would you believe him? Or would you believe them? If you believe them, Naimbi said your mumu never do. Okay, and I don't think you should continue to be Mumu if you know the truth. It will be by your, it will be your choice. I wanted to take call it, I mean, tonight, but I can't. I'm going to round up uh, tonight. This video is a long video. If you are just joining me, don't worry yourself. Okay, the video is going to be cut into two or three uh, parts. It's going to be premiered. So everyone who sees my premiere video, they are not really live videos. So if you miss any of my broadcasts, you can watch them again. But by then, they would have been cut into different parts, maybe two or three. So 30 minutes, 30 minutes, or 40 minutes, 50. You know what I'm talking about. So if you miss my videos, you can watch them again, okay? Um, rather, if you, miss, uh, sorry, if, you, if you miss the live video, you can watch them again, or you watch them in parts, watch them in premiere, uh, or premiere, rather. Then uh, subscribe. That's so important. Some of you are very much uh, stingy with uh, yeah, using the thumb under this video, you should not always do like that. Not they do like that, eh? You know, you know, you know, pure. Yeah, after this, just leave the chat room, go under the video. You will see the thumb up there, right? Just click it. I'm not saying you should type it in the comments. Leave the comments. Go under this video, you'll see it there. Eh? Tap it. Like. 
thumb up if you enjoy your if you enjoy your time with me tonight. And then uh, if you don't if you didn't enjoy it, but you still spend your time with me, you can give me a thumb down. It is called engagement, engaging with the uh with the broadcast. Okay. If you haven't subscribed, or maybe you should check if you haven't subscribed right now, you can also subscribe on my Egon's diary so that you won't miss anything. And if you have also subscribed and you haven't really checked if you set your, your notification. The reason why you don't get to know when my ego is live is because maybe you didn't set the notification as all notifications. Do that and you won't miss anything. I'm going to see you some other time. And to everyone who is going to go to London tomorrow, well done. You are doing the Lord's work. And uh, those who are going to go after tomorrow and those who are going to go every day until Bokuari is flushed out of uh, London, you Oluwama Swagbara That is uh, well done. Eh? You are doing well. And then uh, you are doing the Lord's work. Okay. And God, the Lord uh, that you believe in, everything you believe in, what? We will replenish you. We energize you. We make you whole. And we we'll continue to keep you whole. To continue to demand for what is right in your own little space. Wherever you find yourself, continue. I am with you. I will see you again next time. Until then, stay safe and good night.
tipe gogo oje lu e sun raki maye gun ti de gogo oje lu e sun raki sugar ni ba ti se to ye ki won se omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran o eya maye gun ti de gogo oje lu e sun raki Maye Oni kan sha ti se yi to ye ki won se ma won ra ilu to pe won de be o aye maye ko ti pe gogo oje lu e sura ki maye ko ti pe gogo oje lu e sura ki sugba ni ma ti se yi to ye ki won se omo ba de ro o ni fi won ni ro Kimai Hey, 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 hey,